Why just make me park all what? the way over here? I'm gonna start it funny. I'm gonna start it with my regular intro because it, it is what you asked. What is up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Ford Era. Just kidding, we're here with Detroit Steel Wheels today. I'm Solomon Lunger. This is Goldust, 2022 Lone Star Throwdown. We got Emma behind the camera. Let me give you the lowdown on Goldust. So Goldust is a 1970 Ford F-250 bump side crew cab. And I've had this truck for about two years or so. I bought it in May, 2020. Basically, it's my dream truck or one of them. It actually became my dream truck. It's actually what kicked off my YouTube channel. Me and my best friend, Simi, flew out to Idaho. I bought this truck sight unseen. The guy met me at the airport. I'm literally, I walk out of the airport with my camera and the truck's sitting over there. We go, we drive away, I pay him, and then we start a 3,000 mile road trip back to Miami. And I made videos every step of the way. If you wanna check it out, my channel is called Ford Era. Just search it up. It's a full chassis swap with a 1996 Dodge Ram 2500. So it's got a 12 valve Cummins. At the time, it had the 47 RE transmission. It wasn't lifted or anything. And it was just a cool truck. I liked it. It had a bunch of bumps and bruises and they used it as like a hunting rig. Back then, these crew cabs were really rare. Not, I mean, anybody could buy one, but they weren't at dealerships. So you had to custom order it. I just fell in love with the truck itself, the story of the truck. One of the things that I really liked is that the hardest part was done. It had a chassis swap and the motor and transmission. I had a bunch of projects and I still have a bunch of projects and I never get any of them done because it's a lot of work to get them to where they're just running and driving again. So I just wanted to skip to the chase and then build the truck from that point. The only thing left from when I bought it is the cab and the, the frame, the axles. It's got a different motor, different transmission. So let's get a little bit into the truck itself. It's got 37 1250 20s with 20 by 11 Detroit steel wheels. I've got a four and a half inch backspace. I absolutely love these wheels. Literally, they're one of my favorite things on the whole truck because it keeps it with a timeless look. I put on, those are the same hubcaps that I used to have when it was 16s. They have the, the little things on them, which... Usually I do, but my my fingernails, it's so cold. You know what? I'm gonna borrow. All right, stole this from Emma. Wedger in there, wedger in there. All right, see? Yeah. So look how awesome Detroit Steel Wheels are. You get your regular hubcaps. They could either put these on for you if you tell them, which I didn't know you had to tell them that. But now that I know that, I'm never gonna <laughs> drill them myself again. But they sent me out like a very simple thing. I just used some really good rivets and put them where I want it to be. And it's literally this simple. You line it up, boom. It worked out really well. Obviously, in order to fit 37s, the truck only had 33s, I had to lift it. So it's got a four and a half inch BDS lift kit on it. Had that done by Poppy's Garage. So aesthetically, I've put these mirrors on it. I put on this side trim, fixed a bunch of rust. I haven't paint matched any of it yet, but eventually we'll get there put this camper top on very recently. Actually just did it for this show. Fat Fender garage, billet door handles. We've got airlift 5,000 you know, support bags because I tow with this thing. I put on a chrome rear bumper, the same bumper that it used to have, but it had the same color bumper. This is something that I really love. It's an original 1971 bumper sticker that I bought on eBay and I had to buy 182 stickers because I saw this in the lot. It was like a lot of stickers for sale. <laughs> And in the ad description, it said come and so now I was searching and this was the only one that I wanted. So I've got a ton of stickers at my house that I don't need, but I wanted this one and the sticky part wasn't even sticky anymore. So I went to one of my friends who owns a laminate shop and he laminated it, but that's an original 1971 Cummins sticker, which I thought was cool because I don't have like Cummins badges all over to show everybody. And I just told you guys there's a Cummins under the hood. These are all American billet, just a little trim ring. I just wanted to bring a little bit more chrome out. This truck was actually a really basic truck. So for Ford, custom means cheapest one they had. The truck's not finished, it's a work in progress. I put seat out of a 2015 Ford F-150. I'm using Fat Fender Garage's brackets that I modified. These are meant to be welded in, but I bolted them in. Dakota Digital RTX gauges. So they're all, it looks original, but it functions like brand new. It's gonna have rest of air conditioning. I didn't put it in yet. I'm gonna, you know, redo the floor, carpet and all that, make it nice. When I got the truck, it was, it was a hunting truck, so they used it. So the grill was all busted in. So I got an original grill from a friend of mine, put that in there. These are from Dapper Lighting. And I like it because it's like an OG look and it's glass. 
but it's got the lines like the original one does and it's a projector so the middle of it doesn't have the lines and it's got a halo so like when you kind of stand back and you look at it for a second you don't realize that they're new and i like that just to keep it a little bit classic under the hood over here we have a 12 valve cummins that is built up the motor has arp head studs the head has been hell ringed the pump had some pump work i've got dynamite diesel injectors, dynamite diesel fuel plates, full titanium exhaust using Tycon Industries tubing and Hutcher's Welding did all the work for me. Mishimoto radiator, intercooler, transmission cooler. It's got a diesel power source, Turbonator 467.7 7 turbo that pushes a crazy amount of boost. All American billet hood hinges and that computer controls my Allison transmission. It's got an Allison 1000 six speed transmission which I just put in. Emma said I need to figure out what I want to promo and tell all of you guys. If you're not already, check out Ford Era on YouTube. If you're on Instagram, it's The Ford Era. I'm also the editor for F100 Builder's Guide magazine. We're a quarterly print magazine. So if you head on over, search anywhere F100 Builder's Guide, you want to check out a cool magazine. I got a couple other trucks that we're working on on the channel that are going to get Detroit Steel Wheels. So if you want to see more of those, go back to the YouTubes. If you want to follow me personally on my Instagram, it's Solomon Lung. That actually has a lot of behind the scenes. I want to give a shout out to everybody at Detroit Steel Wheels. Adam, Steve, Emma, everybody over there. You guys are doing a great job. I love American made products right here. You guys are really on top of the game. You have the support that I wish more companies had. When you call somebody, they pick up the phone. They know what they're talking about. Spanky's a lot of fun to talk to. I just call him randomly like, hey dude, I'm making some pasta like what's your recipe like how do you make pasta and then he'll tell me his pasta recipe and i didn't like it but you know it's fun you should just bother them like call detroit steel and just like ask them random things like what shampoo they like using like i don't know that's what i do uh, if you don't already subscribe to this channel hit that like button hit the bell notifications drop a comment let me know what your favorite part of this truck was i want to know and we'll see you in the next video later